What's up everyone, Sean Count Blagreth here today with CD Collection Part 5. Um, yeah, I'm going to pick up where we left off uh, before I begin. I'm going to show some more in an update, but I want to send a big shout out and a thank you to my friend Adam for sending me my new favorite shirt. Ricky from Trailer Park Boys. Love it, but um, yeah, I had to show that off. It's just too awesome. But yeah, I got another uh, bit of CDs to show. I'm going to record a couple of these in a row, so that's why I'm going to be wearing the same clothes in these videos. And if I upload them, like, right in a row, um, it's due to the fact that I can't upload here at my house, so I have to take it over to my friend's house. So, uh, yeah. Let's begin. We're going to start things off with a band called Demonolator. And this is their self-titled EP. You cannot see anything on it because it's black on black print. It is some very, very strange. That's the booklet, the disc. Um, pretty good, like black and death metal sort of stuff. Next, we have Despised Icon. This is uh, the healing process. Very, very good deathcore album. <clears throat> I don't know why my voice is cracking. But, um, yeah, pretty good stuff. Not my favorite, but the song Retina is very good. Uh, Bulletproof Scales, uh, As Bridges Burn, End This Day. Very good album. Next, we have Diafago. This is Filipino Antichrist. This is the Digipack edition. It was limited more than the jewel case, so I picked this up through Hell's Headbangers back when you could. I believe that's how it goes. The disc folds out like this. Very good war metal. Don't I know some people are going to be complaining that I have these guys because some when the dude punched a girl in the face. But most of you that would complain also wear Burzum shirts of a man that killed someone. So I'm not going to take you seriously. Sorry about that rant. Um, carrying on, we got Destroyer Six 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 with "To the Devil His Due." This is a great compilation of some black thrash from good old Australia. Um, yeah, pretty good release, good compilation. Never been a huge fan of them, but that's a pretty good release, and it was really cheap through Hell's Headbangers. Um, next, this is Devolved with Reprisal. Very good. Um, I don't know how to describe it, kind of groovy death metal in vein of divine heresy sort of stuff. Next we have the Dillinger Escape Plan with Option Paralysis. This is the really weird digipack that Season of Mist put out that folds a bunch of times I am not even going to bother showing because it's a pain to put back together. Dimmu Borger for All Tid. This is the digipack reissue from 2000. That features the seven inch EP that they put out before this. Amazing album. Dimmu Borger, Storm Blast Original. This is not an OG press, but it's still very good. One of the best Dimmu Borger albums in their discography. I have uh, Enthroned Darkness Triumphant, but it's on vinyl, so moving on. Godless Savage Garden. Pretty good EP. The song Moonchild Domain is absolutely killer. And we have Spiritual Black Dimensions. Pretty good album. Demu Borger with Puritania, Euphoric Misanthropia. Um, better than Spiritual Black, but still nothing really to write home about. Dimmu Borger, Death Call Armageddon, much better than the previous two. Dimmu Borger, Storm Blast 2005 re-recording. I actually really like this version a lot. Actually, I know that's a very unpopular opinion to have, but it um, comes with a patch and a bonus DVD. 
Um, yeah, it's a very unpopular opinion to have, but I almost like this more than the original. I just feel like it's way more sinister, whereas the other one was more atmospheric. <clears throat> but still, nonetheless, both are great. I mean, I can't say I truly love one more than the other, but if I had to pick one, I like the re-recording. Excuse me. Then we have Demi Borger with Insori Diabali. Terrible black metal album, really good extreme metal album. Just don't approach this with a black metal mindset, otherwise you'll be disappointed. Still pretty good though. Uh, Digipack with the bonus DVD and the bonus track of Heretic Hammer. And the latest Demu Borger album, Abrahadabra. This was actually the first album I reviewed that got me a good amount of exposure. And um, first video that ever broke a thousand views was uh, my review of this. And I still stand by it. This is a great album. Uh, Endings and Continuations, that is by far my favorite from uh, that album. Once again, don't approach it with a black metal mindset and you'll be alright. Next we have some... Black and Death Metal from Canada. This is Dire Omen with Severing Soul from Flesh. Excellent, excellent evil, sinister Black and Death Metal. If you like um, Arch Goat, um, stuff like that, you'll definitely dig it. Lucifer. Next we have some really good, like, straightforward Death Metal. Disfigured Dead with uh, Visions of Death. Great, great death metal band from Syracuse, New York. Recently changed their name to Nil Existence. And uh, they're utterly amazing, guys. They put out a new song. Go check it out. Just look up Nil Existence. I'll, if I remember, I'll put a link in the description. Um, amazing, amazing stuff. Check them out. <clears throat> but... Yeah, Disfigure Dead was very good. This was put out by Hell's Headbangers. So, um, give this album a listen if you want some really good straightforward death metal. Then their second album, this is Relentless. Fitting title, because it is a relentless album. Very killer shit put out by Severed and Butchered Records. It's a split collaboration. Next we have Dissection, Storm of Light's Bane, and Where Dead Angels Lie. I bought this brand new in FYE and didn't come with a booklet, so that's cool. But this is a really good album. I need more Dissection, but excellent album. feel like it's slightly overrated, but still really good. Uh, Dornreich with Flamantrude. This actually came with a huge flag that I used to have over on my door. And it came in a box I have on display, but... And a 7-inch, which I haven't showed my 7-inch vinyls yet. I'll probably do that soon. But cool digipack. Very good album. Return to black metal for these guys. Still has some neo-folk in there. Great shit. Next, we have the debut album from Down, uh, NOLA, uh, New Orleans, Louisiana. Great, great stuff. Um, God, just give this album a listen if you want some really good sludge. Sadly, I don't have Down 2 or 3, but I have Down 4, Part 1, Purple EP. Um, this is an excellent, excellent album. If you haven't heard this, give it a listen. Favorite songs on it. Uh, Witch Tripper, uh, The Curse is a Lie, This Work is Timeless. Great songs. The whole thing is fantastic. And same thing for Down 4, Part 2. Um... We knew him well, Conjure. Uh, just every song on this is great. I'm looking forward to Down 4 Part 3. That's going to be awesome. Next is an album that actually means a bit to me. Uh, Dropkick Murphy's The Warrior's Code. The reason why this means quite a bit to me is uh, this is something when my mom used to uh, go to her doctor's appointments. There was one summer where uh, we were going through a bit of stuff years and years and years ago that back whenever this came out. Well, a little bit after, I'd say maybe 2005. Um, went to a doctor's quite a bit, and she loved uh, Greenfields of France, The Burden, and uh, a couple other songs off this. So it's something that we listened to a bit in the car. Um, next, we have Dunkelheit with Frozen in Eternity. 
great, great, great atmospheric black metal, I believe from Austria. Uh, very much in vein of Burzum, as you could guess by the name of Dunkelheit. Uh, pretty good stuff. Nothing really groundbreaking or original, but still really good. Next we have some uh, Dying Fetus with Descend Into Depravity. Very, very good death metal album. This is my favorite one from them. And Reign Supreme is really good, but I never picked that up for some reason. It just kind of phased out of buying death metal for a while and never really got around to picking that up. Next we have The, uh, the Dying Light with The Killing Plan. Um, Really good stuff. I only listened to this a couple times, but from what I remember, it's really good. I believe it's death metal. God, it's been a long time since I played this, but good shit from what I remember. Um, dysmorphic with a notion of notion of casualty. Excellent, excellent technical death metal. Brutal as hell stuff. Uh, this is another CD that means a lot to me. This is Early Graves, We the Guillotine. I got this um, directly from the singer Mac Daniels, uh, who sadly passed away. I saw him open for Unearth, and uh, me and my friend Alex watched him. This was years and years ago. And if I ever, if Alex, if somehow you ever see this video, get a hold of me, man. I haven't talked to you in years. I don't know what ever happened to him. But regardless, uh, we went and saw uh, Unearth. It was like one of my. It was like for my birthday. And, um, it, it was awesome, but nobody really dug these guys, because it was mostly, like, a straight-up hardcore metalcore crowd, and they are kind of, like, converge. But, God, they were amazing. Uh, favorite song from this, if you like some dark, heavy hardcore, check out the song Ballistics. Um, next we have, and I need more from these guys, The Electric Wizard. This is, uh, We Live. Pretty good album, um... I prefer Dope Throne, but I don't have it. Next, Alivedi with Ven. I believe this is an original press or the first reprint. Um, 2004 Fear Dark release. Got this off Metal Archives. I actually got it for Christmas from my parents who got, bought it off some dude from the Metal Archives, which is pretty cool. Alivedi with Evocation 1, The Arcane Dominion. Very good Celtic album. Uh, favorite song from this, uh, Break Home. And... <sighs> Des Umis Luge. I don't know how to say it. Next, uh, Ellie Vady, um, As Everything Remains As It Never Was. Um, this is a really good album. This is probably my favorite album from them. Next to Spirit, I wish I could find an original separate copy of Spirit, because Your Gaulish War and um, The Endless Knot are probably some of my favorite folk metal songs ever. But this is still a really good one. Uh, the title track, Everything Remains As It Never Was, Thousandfold, um, Quote the Raven, and I just got a text, excuse me while I check that and grab the next CD. And just, it was from my guitarist. Anyways, next some really good folk metal from Norway. I talked about this before. Uh, El Varahoy with Felia Falder Aldri. Sent to me directly from the band. Awesome guys. Thank you guys so much for giving me this for free if any of you end up seeing it. One of my favorite folk metal albums ever. Very cool stuff. Next we have Embalmed with Exalt the Imperial Beast. Vicious black and death metal album teetering on war metal um, from Mexico, I believe. I think they might be located now in Arizona, I believe, but God, these guys are gnarly. Check them out. Local metalcore band that I don't think exists anymore. Um, Embrace the Massacre with When the End Begins. Very cool dudes, pretty good uh, metalcore EP, some heavy as hell breakdowns, but uh, yeah. Next, Emperor in the Nightside Eclipse. This is the only full length from Emperor that matters to me. Mike C. Town, I'm sorry. 
I know you like the uh, anthems more, but this for me is really the only stuff that matters from Emperor and anything before this. Oddly enough, though, I do like the Reverend CP, but that's another story. Next, Ensephirum, uh, Victory Songs. One of my favorite album, my favorite album from Ensephirum and From Afar. This whole album is really good, except for they have to ruin it with Stone Cold Metal's uh, spaghetti western part. That's stupid shit. I am not going there. Um, Enslaved. Uh, Exomia Ethnica Omni. Excellent, excellent album. Epic Land. Bound for Greatness. One Man. Um, black metal, folk metal, symphonic black metal sort of stuff. Pretty cool stuff. And last CD, Evand, The Shortest Way, Great Death Doom, uh, can't remember what country these guys are from, uh, but yeah, this is just a absolutely excellent, excellent EP, uh, not EP, full length, mastered by Dan Swano, very cool stuff, but that's the end of this video, guys, um, stick around for part f six, and yeah, uh, thank you guys for watching, thank you for subscribing, and as always, keep it metal.